kind of fake it out, pretend mm-hmm. it's about the EMP, they throw the shields off, you just go in there real quick, and they have yeah. no shields. And then they put it back on, you just pop it. Yeah, yeah. But to me, I'll think that again. Because I, mean, I, I play a little bit of crypto, because I, I, I like crypto, like... Welcome to the fourth installment of the Concord XP podcast. Our guest here is Tyrell, aka Goku's Heart Disease. He is the captain, actually not the captain, but you, captain. You, you are the best player, I'd say, of the um, Smash Maroon. Um, he's been on the team how long? Since two years ago? 2021? Yeah. yeah. Um, and you're a junior, right? Yep. Junior and major sociology? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, um, I guess today we'll, I guess we're talking a little bit about Smash and you know what's your what's your thoughts because I I tend to ask people like what their game are and kind of like questions related question? yeah questions related to it yeah. My question is how would you find all that information about me? I mean, I am the coordinator, so and plus I've been I've been in the program for a very long time, so I know. You have, but I did, who would you get your info from? I can't say. Can't say classified nope. information. Classified information. Yep. Mm, I see. Exactly. Well, just tell us a little bit, little bit about Smash and like the Smash scene. Like, you know, you're going to a LAN event um, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. So the LAN event is going to be in Bridge Valley in mm-hmm. Charleston, South Charleston, really. Mm-hmm. And the funny thing about Smash tournaments is that uh, they last a long time. Yeah. <laughs> it's, we're going to have to leave at like 9. Mm-hmm. We're probably going to get back around 10. Really? Like A small Smash tournament can probably take like five hours. Really? So, uh, Why? The big ones last multiple days. Mm-hmm. So I went to SmashCon mm-hmm. in Virginia. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Mm-hmm. That took three days just for them to get the finals. That's insane. Why does it take so long? Because Smash is like a pretty quick game. It is a quick game. And there's only like 500. It was like 2,000, 3, 2,300 people signed mm-hmm. up for Ultimate alone. Mm-hmm. And they do like Melee. Smash Four. They do all the Smash games. How many people signed up for Melee? Was uh, it was it more than Ultimate? It was not more than Ultimate, but they did have some of the goats like Hungry Box and Mango. I saw. I know um, uh, MK Leo was there. Mm-hmm. I saw you took a, took a picture with him. Yep. I know a lot of a lot of pro players were there, so it's pretty pretty cool to see pretty cool. how close they were just from here. I asked them a lot of questions too about how to get better at the game. Yeah. What they say? They said, "Gotta be more patient." Right. Choose safer options. Mm-hmm. And. If you're gonna go off stage, try not to get reversal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause that really kills me all the time. The, the, so you ask like some advice from them and like what they would do and like mm-hmm. with the certain type of, your certain types of characters because you play sword characters a lot. Yes. So the, did you ask them like any advice on like how to get better with sword characters? Yes. Like MK Leo, mm-hmm. he said, spacing is important. Mm-hmm. Spacing is key for sword characters because we shouldn't be getting punished ever if we're spacing correctly. Mm-hmm. The only way we can get punished is that they parry us. But he said, you need to learn how to get your kill confirms, how to space, how to get confirms after a hit. Right. Because sometimes I'll hit someone and I'll mess up my confirm. Yeah, well, okay, I guess it will explain a little bit about the people into the camera. Uh, what, what, would you, what is a confirm? A confirm, so like in Smash, you can do combos. that You can do a move that can confirm into another move. Mm. And it will set up a combo or like a kill confirm or a setup. And my character has setups and kill confirms. Her... Her combo game is pretty basic. It's mm-hmm. not hard to do. Mm-hmm. It's not like extravagant like other like characters. Tekken, like, or like or like Tekken's pretty Tekken, complicated. Like Kazuya, you need to have perfect inputs to play Kazuya. Right, in Smash 2. Like yeah, even does. even in Smash, they like implemented like all of his like extreme combos that he requires. Mm-hmm. Cause he's probably like the most combo heavy character in the game. Uh, he is one of the most combo. Cause you have to hit your electric when God fist, mm-hmm. and the only way you can hit that is that you have to dash forward, mm-hmm. let go. Quarter circle forward, mm-hmm. but as soon as you press d- down right, and you it messes, don't press it messes a, it up, right? You don't press A at the same time you press down and mm-hmm. just that down right. You didn't get your electric, mm-hmm. and the, his electric is his free kill confirm setup stuff. Mm-hmm. Because Kaze is one of those characters like if he hits electric, all of his moves combo out of electric, hmm. and that's why he's like one of the hardest characters to fight. Because if he hits you, you might have just died off that one hit, right? Cause I, and I and even just like his basic attacks or like that ten that ten combo move yeah it just like just shows like how combo heavy he like really is. Now let me tell you that ten combo move. Mm-hmm. That's probably one of his worst moves. What worst moves? 
Only because you don't even have to press anything. You can just press A one time. Then you just hold it down, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, in the game, there's DI and SDI. Mm -hmm. DI is like you just hold a direction. SDI is where you wiggle in a direction, like two points. Really? And as you wiggle, you can get further out. Uh -huh. So what makes it easy that you can DI out of his combo by just holding out, and it would, you would just get out, mm -hmm. and he's just swinging, so you can punish him. Mm -hmm. And he's like still in the animation of doing the combo, mm -hmm. while you can just like like I guess we turn it back on him and, yeah. and combo him uh, and the thing is like he's so bad at disadvantage he's mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the worst in the game at disadvantage like right up there with the Belmonts really yeah like at well, least he well, can like come back to stage like mm -hmm. unlike the Belmonts but mm -hmm. once you're supposed to like hit him into the sky because he sucks at vertical mm -hmm. recovery because he has nothing really mm -hmm. well, well what would you what would you say he would be at like tier list wise like well, he's definitely top tier mm -hmm. Is he? Yeah, he's like, like high A, maybe low A? No, no S. Really? You say S tier? Really? Yeah, he, he just, he can farm anyone as he touches them. Mm -hmm. It's literally, can you get your hit and can you get your combo? Mm -hmm. And that's the cause, like a lot of Japanese players who didn't play Kazuya, they picked up Kazuya as a secondary hmm. for bad matchups because mm -hmm. he's a good secondary and you can also play him as your main. Mm -hmm. But it's like uh, a good person would be like T. T is the best Pac-Man player in the world, in Japan. And he has a Kazuya for lots of matchups. And he whips it out on like people like MK Leo, who's the best player in the world, mm -hmm. and on Spargo. Because he knows if he gets in on them, and he hits Electric Wind, they die. Mm -hmm. And they have not much they can do about it. Right. And so the one on tomorrow, is it like all, is, it's, a, it's all day, but is it like one day only? Is it just tomorrow? This one, this one is just one day only. Mm. It should only be one day only, I hope. Yeah. And uh, aren't you going to like another one mm -hmm. as well? Wake Forest. Wake Forest. The next day. Mm -hmm. So you're basically I, going back to back? I think it, that one might last two days. Mm -hmm. Last weekend. Are you, go, are you going to like go for both days or what's going on I'll with that? I'll probably go for one. I got to do homework. Right. Or <laughs> the, the I, I got to keep my studies up. Right. Struggles of, I guess, balancing esports and, and, and school. And school yeah. yeah. Is there anything you want to add? Um, so like, how did you get recruited for the Smash team? Well, funny story. I was just a regular guy in my business communication class. Mm -hmm. And then the League of Legends coach said, Hey, you like video games a lot? I said, yeah. He said, you ever play League of Legends? I said, no, no, no. <laughs> I remember this. Mm -hmm. And I said, I played Smite. He said, it's almost the same. Close enough. Close enough. He said, you could probably learn League. I learned in League. We didn't get a League of Legends team at that point. Mm -hmm. And I said, man, what do I do now? And I got, Kaya walks in. I said, would you like to play some Smash Bros? I said, sure. Mm -hmm. And I whipped out my most, my favorite character in the world. Who? Morth. Morth. Now, a lot of people, they're not a believer in him. Mm -hmm. Only because it's hard to play him in this game. Is it? It's the same. This is the, this is the game he's the, the lowest tier. This is sword the lowest character? Tier. So, no, no, he's, not, he's not the worst sword character. Mm -hmm. But like in the games, he's like one of the, always one of the best sword characters. Hmm, okay. The thing is that the game has a lot of defensive options to get out. Mm -hmm. But also, a lot of characters are just fast now. They made the game faster. Do they? What do they do? Uh, you can like roll. You can uh, like, too. They make characters better, like mm. balance patches. Like even Bowser is running up fast for no reason. Mm. And the thing is that he had to hit the tipper of his sword, and everyone's faster in the game. Mm. And it's you really might, really hard, I guess, to hit people with the tip of your sword. And the, and even the smash, like if you hit people with different parts of the sword, it does like different. Yeah, because you damage. have a sour spot and. There's been times where I've, I've hit in a sour spot and I lost my combo because it's sour. Mm -hmm. And then I got comboed for it. So like a sour spot is like something that is like, like the weakest point in the sword mm -hmm. or? Mm -hmm. It's like, there's another character that had the same thing. You, have, you know Roy? Mm -hmm. The boy Roy? Mm -hmm. He's one of the best sword characters in the game mm -hmm. because he has a sweet spot and a sour spot. Now he doesn't have tippers, but the closer his, you are to getting hit by the hilt of his sword, the more damage you take. Really? So he's the inverse. He's the opposite of Marv. So you have to basically like hit it like the swords here, and you have to hit him here. You have to hit closer to here, like to the like handle here, huh? And the thing is, like, he's so he's so good at being in advantage state. Mm -hmm. Like you can see a Roy player and a Marv player play. Mm -hmm. Roy's are aggressive as all hell. And Marv were like more more passive. Mm -hmm. They have to wait for their swing, get their combo, mm -hmm. they get their kill confirm. 
Roy will run up on you and he will hit you mm -hmm. because that's what he should do. Yeah, because to me that sounds like it's easier to like hit someone here than it is to hit someone at the there. at the point. Yeah. And the thing is, like all of Roy's moves combo into each other pretty much. Mm -hmm. Like uh, a good one would be Cola. Cola plays Roy. He used to play Roy. Mm -hmm. That's his main. He would hit someone at zero and do like seventy percent because they're stuck in the air. Because mm -hmm. Roy's one of the best characters to juggle you. And now how I said like Kazia has mm -hmm. a horrible vertical disadvantage mm -hmm. and horizontal disadvantage. Well, as Roy is comboed him, he's getting eaten alive. Mm -hmm. The problem is, it's a weird matchup for them mm -hmm. because Roy goes in, and I didn't tell you this, but uh, you, you didn't hear this from me. Kazuya has like nine invincible moves. Really? That that's a problem. Mm -hmm. And one of them is electric wig on. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I said, who made this idea? Yeah. Who sanctioned this? <laughs> yeah, who, who looked at that? Like, yeah, that's good. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so is like ult so ultimate. This is not your first Smash game. It is not. Is I, it? Is it your first Smash game that you was like played competitively? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, the first one I played was Melee on GameCube. Melee. And this funny enough, that's the game Marth came out in on that game. Mm -hmm. And did you, did you play Wii U? Yeah. Yeah. Marth was at his peak. Mm -hmm. Top three even. Mm -hmm. Top three. Top four. Because he had a good matchup, and is he caught? Is he caught you lacking? Mm -hmm. He just died. Uh, like, why do so many people like still play melee more? Like, is it just is it it's like a, is it better in some terms of like in other Smash games? Like, you don't hear hardly anyone like they played the Wii U version because that was like the latest version the latest out. Version. And then like when Ultimate came out, like no one played Wii U. Oh, you do. The people didn't like playing Wii U at because Bayonetta came out. Right, and Bayonetta was like the best character in the game. Best character in the game killed the game. Yeah, because remember how I said, you know how you can air dodge in directions. Mm -hmm. Well, it used to be you couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. That's a Smash Ultimate Edition. Really? You only can air dodge and do neutral air dodge. Mm -hmm. So in the game, in a game where you can only neutral air dodge, Bayonetta is cooking you because mm -hmm. you only do neutral air dodge, it's gonna comp you again. And that's why grapplers were so good, because you hit shield, they just grabbed you, and you got comboed, and you died. Hmm. But I think the most egregious mechanic is that uh, you have to play with two stocks only. And I was like, two stocks? Two stocks. So you, if you like lost your first stock, that was your data stock. Yeah. And if you didn't get enough data, you lost the game, most likely. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know rage mechanics? Yeah. So uh, game, I think after like a hundred percent, right, your, your character starts raging a little bit. Yeah. So uh, this is the, the the part I hate the most about Smash Four. It's not that you will get combo. It's that you can have someone near death, but you could die at thirty because they're at like one fifty. Really? Yeah. Like. Go with because like was rage is like that powerful. That powerful. Like you know, Corrin. Mm -hmm. Corrin came out in Smash Four as DLC. As Corrin was like at one twenty, and you hit them at the top of platform, and they countered you. You died at like 30. Really? Mm -hmm. And it was like so agree. It's unnecessarily weird. So why do people play Melee more? Is it is it because it's just like a smaller cast? Because I know like the cast of characters is like I think, small. I think Melee is just more fun than Smash 4, mm -hmm. to be honest. Right. Is it, is it, like, is it just like nostalgia? Or is nostalgia, it like me mechanics? Mechanics. There's like so many cool Like wave dashing. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Characters are a hype in Melee, too, because that's when they first came. Right. Like Captain Falcon? I know, like, both birds are, are probably the best characters, right? Yeah, Falcon. Fox, Fox yeah. Fox is just broken. <laughs> mm -hmm. broken. Yeah, because you see, you see, like, you don't see, like, hardly, like, like everyone uses Fox. Like, you, you, don't, you don't see no one, like, not use Fox. Yeah, you're not using Fox, you're probably losing the game. Mm -hmm. You're selling. You're right. Um, is, um, like, how did you, like, I guess, come across Smash? Were you, like, an always, like, a big fan of fighting games i always played fighting because the first like fighting game i played was like mortal kombat one on, a, on mm -hmm. super nintendo mm -hmm. but like i first played smash at my grandma's house my cousins were playing it and they let me try on their gamecube i was like, oh who's this character is more i was just swinging a sword all day mm -hmm. that was that was that was so was you, is your first console the gamecube no my first console well in reality was a super nintendo and then mm -hmm. i got a game boy mm -hmm. but i i actually owned the game boy my sister Owned the Super Nintendo and the N64. Right. I think my first console was a Dreamcast, and then, mm. but I didn't really like own it. Own it, it was like more, more so my parents did. Uh, and then like, then they got the GameCube because my dad at the time was like sorta into gaming, so he had he got the GameCube. But then, I think I like one time like walked in and like what saw him like him and his friend play the GameCube one time, and I guess I seemed interested in it. 
And so he like gave me the controller, and then like it's been history ever since. Yeah, basically, because I was just like, man, this is pretty fun, I guess. Yeah. I, I don't remember at the time how young, how like how young I was, but I was like, like, like really young. Really young. I was probably know, like two or three. You know what game you were playing? Oh shoot, I don't know what game I was playing. Uh, because I, I had a lot of games on my, on my GameCube because I played it like even when like other Nintendo consoles came out, I still played my GameCube because it was like the console that I like had the most games for. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what game. I I, I don't want to say Wind Waker, but I, I at the same time I do want to say Wind Waker. That's a good game. Yeah, I think it may have been Wind Waker. I know, like when the GameCube like went out of fashion, they made the Nintendo Wii. Mm -hmm. My GameCube was already broken, so I yeah. had all these GameCube games. I still they, have my GameCube. And they said you can play your GameCube games on your Wii, and I said that's all I need to hear. Yep, I remember, I remember that was like a big selling point for the. Mm -hmm. And then, can't the Wii U also play GameCube games as well? I don't know, actually. Cause I didn't, I, I'd never actually owned a Wii U. Me neither. I played Smash 4 on other people's Wii U. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to buy a Wii U. Because I, I had a PlayStation 3 and 4 mm -hmm. and like Xbox. So I was like, why would I get a Wii U? Yeah. What is, like, because I know, like, Smash, like, brings in, like, characters from, like, other games and stuff like that. Yes. Um, what's one character that's not in the game yet that you would like to see come to the game? That I would like to see personally. Mm -hmm. That's a tough question because I have to like balance them around the game. It's so because they can't be like too crazy. Yeah, because like they had the yeah, th then they had then they had to like change every single map when they brought Kazuya in. Yeah. Yeah, to like fit his. And then they added Steve, and he just he's mechanically strange. No, it may have been Steve that because Steve uh, can build. Yeah. Off the stage. Yeah, it was it was it was Steve that they had to change like every single map for. Mm -hmm. because of his mechanic of being able to like build and and, and whatnot people hate fighting steve because steve, steve is good he's so good as a character thing is that steve will wall you out he'll mm -hmm. build a wall like you're, and you're off the map and yep. he just builds, builds you. a little wall right there you can't recover mm -hmm. and that, that's a killer for so many that kills my character yeah my character beats steve mm -hmm. but if i'm off state then i have to go low I might not come back. Right. There's going to be a little little cement block there. What character would you add, though, if you had a... The had to? I mean, I guess maybe think about a little bit of, like, having, having to work around, but don't, don't think too hard. Like, don't it, think too hard. Like, a character that you want in is, like, already, like, they've, they've built it around. Well, they could add Doom Guy from... I know. That, okay. Oh, well, I know they made... Didn't they make that, like, a, as, like, a me costume? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I think it would be better if you use an actual character, because... You 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 didn't notice, but like out of all of the ultimate DLC, mm -hmm. not a single owner. Hmm. They have a sword character. That, that's like sword the character. Joker, who who Arsene is a sword character. Mm -hmm. Joker's not a he's a ninja. Arsene is the sword. Mm -hmm. And Arsene is the cheese. Like it was like a lot of like fighting and then sword because like a pyramidal sword. sword. They had um, a Terry Bogar from King of Fighters. Seth, Men from Mars. Seth Roth. Seth Roth. Sword. That, a big sword. Yeah. Big, like, huge hitbox. It had a Banjo and Kazooie. Mm -hmm. and, and the most egregious They're a fighter, one. right? Would you say? Hmm? Like a brawler? They're a brawler that has, like, weird options. Like tra They're like Worst Snake. Mm -hmm. Bootleg Snake. Even. The thing is, they have all these cool DLCs. The one I... I think we should remove a DLC character. Mm -hmm. This character should never exist. Am I honest? My heart to heart never should have existed. It's it's free. It's part of the plan. Part of the plan. That character should have never been in the game. Yeah, they added that as like a bonus for people who like bought it early, right? Yep, and then they just made it free. Yeah. But Piranha Plan is like terrible. Like worst character you'd say? Like, like the down there with like Little Mac? Yeah. Little Mac can cook though. You, if you're good with him. You're only well, I think that's like all characters. Like Overwatch, like if you can play like the worst character like Sombra. Like Sombra, I would say is like right now like the worst character. But like, if you're good with her, I mean, you can pull some okay. good hat, some strats on her, yeah. Like yesterday, me and business with an Al Scrim, he wanted me to go Sombra, and he went ball, and Luke went Tracer, Tracer. and that was like a, that's a hard dive counter. Like we focus on one character, you get them out of the game, and then you move on to the next. And um, and like even though she's just like she's so bad, like she was like meta, meta in, 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 in season one, she was meta. And then they nerfed her really hard. Like they took away her like hack ability. Hack. Like basically like where the damage increased by like forty. It used to be like it was like fifty. I think it's like thirty now. It's n nowhere near nowhere. as much. Like you, you can just melt Melts. people. I saw people just die. You, you like hack a Zenyatta, and it's oh, like they're melted. And um, plus, it made it to where 
they get their abilities just a little bit quicker, mm -hmm. but just that little bit more time of having the abilities back, it just makes a big difference. Because like you could like hack like a uh, like an Ana, mm -hmm. and e normally you could be able to have enough time to melt her melt before, before she can sleep here. Yeah. But now she, you can maybe get like just a few shots in before she has her abilities back. Yeah, she just you. Yeah, and I know they're doing like a, a soft rework again on her abilities. Uh -huh. Like when Overwatch 2 came out, that's what they did is they, they reworked her. But now they're doing like another rework because she's that bad. Yeah, yeah she, kind of like what they we worked hard a little. Yeah, so I mean, now I have a question about for Overwatch for you. What? So, uh, how would you say the balance of the game is looking right now? Like, how do you feel about the meta? Uh, the meta? Um, I know it used to just be a lot of Winston, Soldier, and Reaper, Kiriko. Yeah, it was like that during like the finals, finals yeah. of of Watch League. It was like just like Soldier and Reaper, Lucy, Kiri, Kiri. and Winston. Um, it's definitely changed since then. I think probably the most tanks you see now is like either Ryan or, Ryan. or Ball. J JQ, terrible. She's a little bit better than she was, um, but she's terrible. She's not her. Uh, Winston, he's all right. Ryan's really good right now because oh, yeah, the his fire strike does 100 damage each, and mm -hmm. he has two, so it's like well 200. placed. You can like Milk. kill most of the, the, the teams. I think the balancing is a little bit better than Overwatch 1, because Overwatch 1 was like we would go like months without, without like a, a, a patch. Yep. And I mean, like they did the whole like roll queue because of, of GOATs, because like no one would touch DPS. They would just go three tank, three support. Yep. And so that, I mean, that's why they did the whole ro like roll queue. But uh, I think the balancing is, is better. Um, I, we're getting a lot more updates. We, we get like a season patch, like when the new season comes out, a patch comes out. And then we get like a mid-season patch that kind of like oh. change up the meta a little bit. Uh, like if someone turned out to be like really OP during the beginning of the season, then they're, they're more Doomfist? than likely they're going to, huh? Doomfist? Doomfist when he got the buffs? Uh, well, Doomfist, Different Doomfist, I think it was like the beginning of season two, was like... He, he was him. Yeah, he was like, it, it was like back to like Overwatch 1 Doom basically, yeah. but like as a tank. I was like, why would they do that? Yeah, and then they nerfed... Like, he was a DPS, I could see it. Yeah. Like he's at lower health. But like they 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 like buffed him a lot, and so like I remember I played him a lot. Like mm. you just like I was you like yeah, you melt you melt people with doom, and then of course they like it wasn't even a, like a mid season patch. They like patched him like a it's week like, or two yeah. after like the season came out. So it was like if there was like an OP character that like people would just, would just like not stop complaining about, they'll like instantly patch them back down where they they think it should be, which is like. Trash. trash like genji genji was like really good at one point during like season one of overwatch and then they nerfed it trash and now he's trash now i, I kind of like that though i got tired of fighting that character yeah he's fine but like it's go it's go mccree or yeah, cast he's a go I, do, I do and i kill him but yeah. i don't want to always go mccree yeah you, you you pick him and it's like you wait for him to deflect deflect and then, and I, then you just let it go yeah and he's dead it's yeah. like he's easy to counter his he's cast. easy to counter yeah but, but yeah he was annoying i do agree Mm -hmm. All I would see, I hear Nano Blade, I think, yeah, it's over for me. Mm -hmm. Fixed it now to where you can't, like, if Catalyst puts her wall up and, like, mm -hmm. Seer throws his ult, you can't, like, see the people through Catalyst wall anymore. Did, like, walk through it to see him, or just, it just you just don't see you him? You just don't, don't, see see him. don't see him. So you have to pop it, like, across the wall, then pop it b to be able to see him, like, if you're on the other side of the wall? No, like, if Catalyst has her wall up mm -hmm. and, like, Seer throws his ult, you can't see him, like... At all. At all. Yeah, that's how that wall works. Uh -uh. Like, before... Before, like, they fixed it, like, you, Catalyst would throw her wall up and then see your riddle, and, like, you could still see him, but now you can't. Yeah. Hmm. Can you, can you shoot through the wall? Yeah. yeah. So you just be able to just shoot through yeah. the wall? You can shoot through the wall, and you can walk through the wall, but if you walk through you the wall, your, you down, your right? sight, well, like, one, it stuns you, but then your sight gets, like, oh, smaller. Oh. Really? Yeah. Huh. So it's kind of like a, yeah, like, uh, like, Reyna and, and, like, Valorant, yeah. like, mm -hmm. her, her flash. Isn't like a flash, but it you like become nearsighted. Nearsighted, yeah. it's like that. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. It could be. I know they. I know they stunned you. It could be after what I could have been strong. Yeah, after wall. After can't, wall, can't hear Apex? anything. Yeah, that would be broken. Mm -hmm. I would just be. I would. I would just walk right through. Mm -hmm. And I would have died. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. But like a nerf aside, currently, who would you say like like would you say Rampart would be the, you think the worst character in the game? I think 
it really depends on how you use the character because i've like i've played rampart mm -hmm. and like you can use her shields to like block doorways and that way you can like like open or close the door and like shoot people like through the wall mm -hmm. so like it gives you like extra cover and like if you're like out in the open like with like a little bit of rocks or something like you can throw up like your rampart shields and it give you some like some bit of cover mm -hmm. but on some sometimes i think it just depends on how you play the character because mm -hmm. like pathfinder can be really good in the right hands yeah like yeah, it's that's to who, me that's like that's all he plays is pathfinder that's mm -hmm. who i would play a lot was would be rampart because I, I, ever since they made it to where you can carry your gun instead of like just being stationary, being stationary. yeah like I being thought, stationary uh, was the worst idea they had i thought that was so fun because, yeah like you like, can literally carry around your minigun just you know just like walk around just like shoot people. i think i think that's so funny to me because like i play like heavy characters like with heavy weapons and to me, that just like makes me like, like I like that character because I just like going through, just like spraying the whole room with like bullets because you have a lot of ammo. I think it's like two fifty, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it just, and it does a lot of damage too, because does it doesn't it get like more accurate the more you shoot it or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could be like me and just play Bloodhound and pop old, pop old, and look at everyone. And there's, like, there's, you're over there. Well, is, is Bloodhound so like good? He's still good, good, but he's like he's not really in meta anymore. Not meta. My, yeah, I'm always a bloodhound. Because I know like Seer was like the better bloodhound, but yeah. like was, yeah, Seer, yeah, yeah, was. Seer, yeah, Seer was meta. But he's I guess people are now going back to bloodhound. I would assume. Yeah. With, with like the, I think like the meta is changing around. I think they're they go. I think they're going back to the original meta with yeah, Gibby, Pathfinder, Gibby. and Wraith. Yeah. Oh no. Is there more crypto? Crypto, crypto's gotten better. There was a like a, this like past ALGS. Mm -hmm. There was like a bunch of people were starting to use crypto instead of Seer, and they were starting to use like Loba uh -huh. instead of instead of like Gibby or something. Uh huh. Yeah. See, like I don't know, like crypto, like crypto's good. But, like when you're on your drone, you're basically like two v three, like all right, because like you can't do anything with like when, when you're in your drone. Yeah, but what makes it good that the crypto drone. It's oh, it's very effective. Oh yeah, because it it literally, it literally win at you a gunfight. It, was, it, it takes away your shields, right? Instantly. It does yeah. it like fifty damage, or was it seventy five? It, it's around like seventy five. You get if like you're getting ready to get hit with like crypto ZMP, and you like you don't take your shield off, and you still have your shield on, it will like so say like you have a purple shield which has like you have like. Like, one which one. has, like, four... Kind of fake it out. Pretend mm -hmm. it's about the EMP. They throw the shields off. You just go in there real quick. They have and no shields. And they put it back on. You just pop it. Yeah. Yeah. But to me, I'll... I'll because I, I, I play a little bit of Crypto. Because I, I, I like Crypto, like, being able to, like, res your res. teammates, like, with your yeah. drone. Well, like, yeah, like, the new season now, which is really good, like, with support characters. Mm -hmm. Like... And now you can like lifeline and loba and gibby and newcastle mm -hmm. um like if like one of your teammates like dies and you can't like really get to their banner because like there's like two squads fighting or like just like banner you camping can just you can it. you can um go to the nearest crafter before their timer goes out and you can craft their banners and then respawn them huh oh, yeah i didn't know you can craft their I didn't banners know about that. yeah that's yeah like that's the thing? that's yeah where season 16 came mm -hmm. out like a couple of days ago, like you can now craft banners and stuff. How much like points is it like? It, it takes thirty materials, but you can craft both teammates. Like if both teammates are down, you can. So craft like in both sixty or something? Is it was it's like sixty? Or is it just thirty all? Or is it just it's, it's just thirty all together. Oh, well, that, that sounds busted. yeah, that sounds pretty good. To be like not be able to get your team like your banner yeah. back. So like and like they did all like the remaster classes too. So now like Wraith, Horizon, Octane, uh -huh. they're in the the skirmisher Remember class those. where they can get care package in sight mm -hmm. so now like when a care package is landing like you can look at the care package coming down and you can like see what's in the care package and hmm. then you can pull up the map and see exactly where it landed and then yeah. you can ping it and then um the attack class is like maggie and like fuse, fuse and like they they can carry extra ammo that's cool. Yeah, they can carry extra ammo in that. And then, of course, like your support, like you could craft banners. And only, only the supports can craft banners? Only the supports, okay. yeah. Th only the supports can craft banners because I tried doing that as Wraith the other day and it does not work. Not work. Hmm. It doesn't work. Do, and then, is there like a time limit like it normally is on a banner? Like if you can't get it, you can just go quickly craft it or like say it expires. 
if like your teammate expires and you can't okay you can't. yeah i was like that'd be just like you, you just imagine yeah. you're just like the last one and you finally crash the table like oh, i'm just gonna cut my teammates real quick yeah, yeah i i tried that and that does not work I, like you have to crap the banners before like they, the they timer expire. runs out yeah that's balanced because i was like man just imagine just like you're the last one alive and then you just like team back you bring your teammate like last minute give um, him a gun yeah to me i was like that's kind of crazy that they would do that but i mean if it if it's in within like the time hold of mm -hmm. like uh, before it expires then i guess i don't really see an issue with it yeah and then you have like your control class which is obviously watson, watson. caustic mm -hmm. um catalyst and rampart. stuff like that yeah rampart they have like they can like pretty much like scan the beacons like where the next circle and that stuff's gonna be. Yeah. And then like the other class, like each class has like different abilities that only they have. Mm -hmm. Kind of similar to how like Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah. yeah. How like supports has like uh, they could passive heal healing. passive healing and uh, mm -hmm. damage has like faster reload when they get a kill. And more movement speed. They took that. They took that away. They took that away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, 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 it was like it was like two OP for like soldier. Oh yeah, soldier was living life. Well, they made it. Well, when Overwatch one, like, two came out first. They made it to where like it was just like a passive, all DPS, just moved faster. Move faster, yeah. So it was like soldier was just like it was like it was like a like a like yeah. NASCAR, and yeah. then they made it to where, like okay that you can only get movement per kill instead of like just all the time, and then it still ended up being like too powerful for like just the game. game. So they just took it off altogether, and they just made it to where. Playing Reaper, um, that was working for me. Yeah, like you moved really fast with Reaper, and then they took it off, saying like, you know, it, it just made the game feel like different, I guess, like not, not how they wanted it to feel, too fast paced, I guess, and um, so they 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 took it away and they kept it to where they made it to where it, I think it was like DP, I think it was DPS, because I think it was DPS only. Where DPS could get like, if they swapped to a new hero. They'd get some of their ult, like ult charge like yeah. kept, but they made it to where it was like every, it happens. Everyone, everyone it happens, now. but they nerfed it to like twenty five percent, so thirty. Um, and then I think tanks they have less knockback. I think yeah, less knockback. Yeah, I think that's what they were just like less knockback. But um, yeah, that kind of seems like how we talked about that in the last podcast. Mm -hmm. How it seems like they're kind of like going like the roll roll queue. I mean, there, like, you could go, like, all three supports, right? Like, there is, like, a set limit, right, to, like, each role. Like, you can just, like, if you say you just wanted to, like, do three supports, like a Gibby, Loba, and Lifeline, you could, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can. I'm not thinking, you ever think Overwatch would ever going back to having six heroes? But, like, the second tank would have to have, like, way less health. Uh, I don't know. I think they're just gonna go stick with the five v five because that's just how most competitive games are nowadays. Like yeah, Valorant, I feel like it's harder for supports to actually be effective. Like they just get yeah, dope. yeah. Like like Overwatch two when Overwatch two came out, the tank role became like you technically have less responsibility now yeah. as tank because like. When you were like the main tank, you had to worry about keeping your off tank alive. Yep. And you had to worry about keeping your supports alive, and you still do. But since you have like one less tank, and you're the only tank, it, you really only like you're the one making space. You're the one that's like protecting your team. That's it. And then like there's no more off tank, so it's like off tank for like Zarya. Like you don't you, you no longer have to worry about like making sure your Ryan or your Orisa is alive. Um, you don't have to like make sure like I don't know. You just don't have to make sure like, like like yes, you start to do like your bubble managements, um, but it's not as bad because where she has two bubbles now, yeah. you can just m mainly just bubble yourself, and then m maybe bubble like a support that's getting dove on. Like you normally don't want to bubble a DPS unless it's like a uh, Cassidy or like Reaper and they're like currently ulting, mm -hmm. and you don't want them to get like slept Left. or so you bubble them real quick and. They have like an extra 200 bubble HP, like for like eight seconds. Not eight seconds, it's like two seconds, eight I seconds. think. And, um, like I more. all good. Um, so, like, yeah, so I think, um, having the one less tank made the tank roll like a funner. The DPS is now, because these, the, like, the tanks would be like the most important, most important. role. Now it's the DPS, because I really like DPS, like, it matters like if you're better than the DPS because if you're better than the other DPS, like you you'll just wipe out the whole entire team, because you have one less tank to worry about, so there's less HP overall. Because you know in Overwatch one you had like a Roadhog and a Ryan, two big meaty targets to focus on, and they would focus on you, 
And now with this Overwatch 2, you only have like just one tank to focus on, and they've increased some health on some tanks, but this recent patch of Season 3, they took some health away from some tanks. Yeah. Then they like, take them away from D.Va? Like, uh, I think D.Va, she used to be 700, now she's 650. 650. Uh, Ball is 550 from 700. Mm -hmm. uh, Hog is still 700. I saw Junker Queen was 400. Yeah, Junker Queen's 400. Um, and Sigma's 4... I think, no, he's, I think he's 500. 500. Either 500 or 450. Um, but they took away like the overall like health and so it's more faster for the DPS to clean up. So they're like the most important role. And then it was like now and then, like the supports are they just got like the short end of the stick basically because yeah. like like uh, there's one less tank for, to protect them. So it's like if you can basically like if, if, they, have, if they have like a monkey Winston or like a wrecking ball, they're you can, you can just ignore them because they really don't do that much damage. And you could just go for straight for the supports, and they don't have two tanks to like protect them. Like they only have one, and he's off doing his own thing, and they're just open and they're oh, free kills. Yeah, doing nonsense. yeah, they're free kills, and so it's like the supports. So like I, I feel sorry for like Tavian and Emily because like I see what happens to them. Yeah, because they get dove on, and then you know me, I'm in the middle of a fight. I don't get my HP. So I'm like, where's my healing at? And you know, they're, they're getting dove on from like all the tanks back there. And I'm like, well, I have to go and help pill for them. Like help them, help them, help the them out. The DPS is the pill now. Yeah, the DPS is like, the tank used to be the pill. Like the op tank would be the pill. Hey, I need, I need, someone's diving on me. I need help. Oh, I'm, just, I'm Zarya. I just go over there. A bubble. bubble. You're good to go. Now it's like, there's hardly Zarya is played anymore. So it's like, now it's the DPS's like um, responsibility to like make sure the, the supports are um, like, like not getting Dova. Okay, That's why Cass, to me, I think is a pretty good character because he, he if you want to play like a good Cass, you want to play like near your supports near your because they can heal you, and then you could protect them at the same time. So it's like if a Genji tracer dives on him, you just throw your flat your grenade. grenade. Either Genji will die because you you would only want to wait until he deflects and then do it. And then the tracer will just recall away. She'll just blink away. Blink. And so that few extra seconds of her being away, getting a health pack, it's basically a 4v5. And you could clean up. And then she has to, she's basically forced to go back to spawn and wait for her team to respawn. So it's like, I guess, like kind of going back to your question in the beginning, like the balancing. Mm -hmm. I think if they, because I know they said the next two heroes are going to be both support. And they're going to try to make it to where both tank and support have like a like equal amount of heroes similar to DPS because DPS has like has like seventeen I think or something. A support has only eight, and tank has ten. And we used to really only have um, eight as well because I mean they they Remarkable. they swapped Doom to being a tank. And so like basically in Overwatch one when Overwatch one was like about the transition. There was like um, seven seven. Su seven supports. There were only eight tanks, and then like um, sixteen. Um, uh, no, I think it's uh, seven tanks. Right? Sixteen uh, well, DPS because they they took away Doom, but then they added Soldier, Soldier. so they kind of kept the same amount. So I think seventeen for them, and so people complained about it because like supports. There's two of them, and they have to share just a hero pool of only eight characters. And then like tank is better now because there's only one tank, one tank. and they have a whole hero pool of 10 and, and then DPS there's two and they have and 17, 17 different combinations they can choose from so the, so like supports biggest complaint is like we need more Supports but, like and then blizzard was like, okay. Well, we hear your your complaints we will make it to where tank and support have around the same amount as DPS. All right, everyone, um, we're gonna have to wrap it up here. Uh, thanks again for watching the uh, fourth installment of the Concord XP podcast with today's guest, Tyrell. Yep, yep. Um, we will catch you guys again on the next one. And also, before we go, just follow on our socials um, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we'll see you.